Hi guys, Podmaster here, and today we have a package from Shumi Toys and Gifts that I've had for a long, kind of a while now, and I just haven't have found time to open this one up, so we're going to open it up today. So yeah, anyways guys, anyways guys, let's get started. So this is the first thing I've actually ordered from Shumi in a while, and yeah, I've just never really found the time to open it up. I, I probably should have opened it up for Easter, but I just had some other stuff I kind of wanted to do. But yeah, that's um, that kind of might give you a hint with it, what's in here. What's really cool with Shumi is that they have their own kind of, um, sorry, wait, sorry. They have their own kind of specialty uh, wrap that they put on the top of the box. It says Fragile Handle, Handle with Care, and then there's the Shumi logo right there, and then there's their website. And... Yeah, that's really awesome, and they also have their own specialty protectors, which is really awesome. Like, they don't just buy it from someone else. They actually have their own thing that they design, which is also really a real perk with kind of ordering with them. And they also have a mint condition guarantee. So, yeah, if you guys want to order um, some common pops from them, I highly recommend it. So, yeah, we're just going to cut open to this, cut right open into this, sorry. And no, this is totally not a kitchen knife. <laughs> just kidding. Um, so let's go to the side. I just want to be careful not to um, cut the top of the box, the top of the pot boxes. I mean, what the heck? Is this it? Did I get it? All right, sorry about the guys. I just had a really hard time opening it, but yeah. So here is the here's what it looks like when you first open it up. So I'm just gonna pull everything out one by one and kind of show you guys. There's only a couple things in here, so. Yeah, all right, so here is the first one. I'll show you guys in three, two, one, boom. All right, so here we have the yellow bunny. This is from the Peeps line, and it's also number six in the Pop Candy line. And it's kind of weird that it doesn't show that up here, but yeah, usually it says, I mean, up here, sorry, you should say like Pop Candy there or something, but it just says Peeps. And on the box it here, it has some sort of yellow background to complement the yellow bunny pop. And then here is the side of the box. As you guys can see, there's another look at the yellow bunny. And on the back, they have the other two in this set, which is the pink bunny and the yellow bunny. So that's that's it. And then this is the protector that it's in. It looks a little bit different and a little kind of less glary than some other protectors, which is really nice when I'm kind of filming right now because I can really face this to the camera and there's almost no glare on it. And yeah, so on the bottom, you guys, you guys can see that it does say Shumi on it. So that's how you kind of know it's their protector. And they also have this little kind of flap on the front, or on, on the back of the pop rather, that I'm not really sure, how does this open? All right, so I finally found a way to open it, and yeah, so let's take it out of the box, and I'll, yeah, I'll give you guys more of a closer look at the pop. So yeah, this box is in super mint condition. As you guys can see, there's pretty much no damage, and I'm really happy that Shumi could do that for me. It's really awesome. Yeah, I really should have got the open these up more closer to Easter, but whatever. All right, so here is the pink, sorry, yellow bunny. Um, this that's what it looks like here. That's kind of an overall size, and it does have some kind of glitter on it. If you guys can see right there, and I think it's yeah, it's attached to the stand, and it doesn't actually come off of the stand, which is kind of weird. And yeah, I the glitter actually does come off. You guys can see my fingers there. I don't know if it's yeah, that one's a little bit better. If I actually touch the pop, the glare does come off. So it's not just like it's um, this glue. Not it's not like a paint. It's actually like this gold gl glitter they put on there. And yeah, that's really awesome. And then there's some glitter on the stand too, which is really awesome. But yeah. So here is the yellow bunny from the Peep Slime. And then there is one more in this box. And I get you guys. But you guys probably know what it is by now. But and anyway, I'll show you guys. And ready? And sorry. Three, two, one. All right, so here we have the pink bunny, also from Peeps. And again, this is kind of like the same box design as the other one. It has the yellow background, but it's actually pop number seven in the pop candy line. And here is the side of the box. It has the polka dot design with the yellow background. Really, really good. And then there's the back of them with the other two. And also in this set, they have a couple of exclusive versions. They have the lavender bunny for the Funko Shop, and then they have the blue bunny for the... I think it's FYE who has that one. So, okay, I think I understand. Okay, I understand how this works now. So, this little flap like here kind of goes into this little compartment. 
and you have to pull it out this way. So that's what I was messing up with earlier. I didn't know how you got that out, but yeah, that's probably the one thing about these protectors I don't really like is that kind of flap. It just, I mean, I don't, it just kind of adds more comp, it's more complicated than it's worth, honestly. But anyway, really cool. Here is the actual peat pop right there. And then I'll take this one out of the box. I already kind of showed you guys the box details on it. And then, like the other one, this one is still, is also on its stand. So here are the two kind of like this. Really awesome designs on these ones. Really cool. And here's the pink bunny. It's pretty much the exact same mold. And yeah, again, they, like I just said, they have, it's actually glued to the stand, which is kind of weird to be honest, because I don't, that's one of the things I kind of hate about some of the newer Star Wars ones that I have now is that a lot of them are glued to the stands that I kind of wish they could, you could take them off because they take up a lot more room on my shelf with the stands versus without. Like my shelves that have no Star Wars pops in them can fit like five or six across, maybe even seven. The Star Wars pops, it's only like a couple. So yeah, I wish they could not have these on stands, but anyway, both these look really awesome. Yeah, so anyways, guys, this has been another episode of Pop Master. Me opening up a, oh, up a box from Shumi, Shumi Toys and Gifts. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.